So we'll be doing list items in Air Design. We are seeing shadows here because we have shadows. If I add a D flat to it, you're not going to see any shadows here. Okay. Let me just save it and take off the AD round. So I'll add H2 dot title. And I'm going to say list items. Okay. So basically you can use on other list like this okay yes so i'm just going to say hello so that's a normal list that's an other list for html so i can now apply a class of ad list to it nothing really happens just this of the pattern and then the margin okay so to complete the tax now we have to tell the list the items within it so we have to add a class of ad item so that's ad item okay so so that's how this item works okay so we can use an other list for it and divs too can be used for ad items okay so i can just use a div and then add a class of ad item so ad item and then write hello within it i don't need ad list for the ad items to work then probably you might need the ad list when you want to apply a general class or an engineer style to the items in the list that's where you probably will need the ad list so let me just duplicate this okay so, we have three. so ad flat 2 can be applied to ad list so you see those underlying the when you add a d flat to it it's going to take them off probably if you're doing a good design you don't want to see the last item with an underline there so you're going to remove it all so let's probably come to the last one and then add the class a d flat to it so a d flat would take off all the shadows and then the lines as said it's part of the key classes So you can add a d flat here and a d flat here so then all those lines too are gone but in case you are having a lot of um, items there and then you want to add a d flat to all of them that is a lot of work so that's when you would need to use a d list so you a d list and then you put all the items in the a d a d list then can now apply the ad flat to the ad list and then to affect all the items within it and you can also say adsm so if you want to if you want the space in between the item to be a bit smaller you add adsm to it that is small okay so that's with and without adsm so with adsm they are small okay So you can come in here and say ad flat here to take off, off the last item so this where the case that you might need the ad list here there's also a hoover that you can do to it um if you want the items to um show a hoover effect probably so that's where you can add a hoover to it so you can add ad hoover so by default when you worry about it you see a primary color on it as our id prime you know I mean? so just to show that something you know you've hoovered of it so you can change the color to a other color so you can say hoover pink it's now a pink color okay 
there's also tea green that's uber tea green there is yellow there's dark and there's even white that's uber. so if you want to make a generic design to the entire items then you have to add it to the AD list instead of the individual list items so I can duplicate it I duplicate it I'll call the UI effect so that has the hover effect the other one doesn't have so what if you want to add an icon to the items okay so you can simply just add the icon to the items then i can now declare an icon within it so we're using the font also so f a f a user so when you have an icon that's what happens so when you take off the ad icon look what happens to it it still works but you have a pardon in the spacing that's the reason why you had the ad icon without the ad icon the spacing becomes something else so without it it's nearer now with it you're seeing a better space you can even put the icon in the span if you want it will still work out for you so that's adding an icon to the to an item so see this one can be used for um side menus to, to list menus there so just add a d icon to it and of course The last one you can say F A F A You can say report. So you notice that you cannot align to the first one because I don't have the AD icon. Now when I add the AD icon to you, not able to see alignment. So if you saw it without it the icon is a bit down but when i add the ad icon to it the icon moves up a bit trying to conform with it so this is how to use an icon in an item in a design So let's quickly duplicate it again and do something new with it. So this time we're going to do list icons with the buttons. So the list, sorry, list items with button. So, so I can comment this part. And let's add the AD button to another button. So now I can like, add an AD button here. The class of AD BTN. And I can say hello. And most of the times, 
icons I used in it. Class simple icons here. We can also add a body group there to also use it here. Can just only add. So that is how to add a button to it. And you can also apply ADBTN to anchor element too. So anchor element can also make use of the button design. Okay. Can also add badge to it. So you have to add a D badge to the item. Then I can do a simple spam call. Can give. You can write 54 new. That's in 54 new messages. Then I can add a class of badge to that particular spam. And that's a badge. So without the A D badge. And then when you have the AD badge, then this one can be used for side menu. So the application I opened in the previous video. All these are items and the item is here and it also has an icon and this is a divider so let's quickly learn about a divider a divider put a div with a class of This, this is a normal day with the right statistics and I add a class of AD divider so you can use a divider to simply so I use a divider to group um, common items like as I used in the previous application for admin role and all the rest so that is um list items can write welcome to the new design Working with this now, and comment the rest up there. Can add an H2 here and say a uh, design. This is what happens with it. It doesn't really need a title in an item. May add a class of an item. No. That's what happens. The card itself has a class of, you know, ha has an header element with a class of title. So when you add the title, the it applies to it. So in an item, it doesn't need a class of title. So I can duplicate them. Can also add a button to it. 
also add an icon to it like edit round and add a d flat here to pick up the outline leaving only the icon when you hover it comes back right so that's another beautiful effect so add an outline and an a d flat together to get that kind of effect AD flat. Can add an avatar. So to change an item to an avatar, just have to add um AD avatar to it. And are done, but an avatar needs an image, so you can add an IMG to it. And also, need to have a paragraph. This is quite fast, so let's start afresh again for an avatar. So, we start with AD avatar class, and then now add an image in it after the image you have an h2 so you can put the name of a person there or whatever you want there and the paragraph for the message or probably an email or phone number of the person depending on what you want to use it for okay so that is very simple So I think now I need an image, so let me go through my file and copy some. It's in the images folder, so so that's what we have now. You can add a D flat to it to get rid of the line. Also have a do hoover on it then hoover pink you can have hoover oh. and we also have a d block on an avatar to change her, the image shape by default it is round but when you add a d block to it becomes a squared image 
now have it this way where you have a deploy on it you can also have a DIMG you can take the image off and put it within the ADIMG that also works if, yes and this way you can have other images and make other animations in that particular day when it is hoovered or you're going to change it change the image or write normal test there Can put even an image that's not perfectly squared here and it will work okay but the default one without the adimg needs a perfect square image to work as the image will be distorted So it's the person's name here. And a free here. Now put his email here. Ed dot design. Gmail.com. And just put his initials here. Say KE. This is perfect if you are using in a program language. Remember that a string is a type of array, so we can get the first letter of the entire string if you are using the program language. So I just have to add a D icon letter to places in the middle. But after that, I can now give it a background color. So it is dark. And you can also add the AD block to it if you want the block design. So there's an avatar. So I'm using the initials for the persons to show show that that's very efficient and it, it helps rather use loading an entire image from the server you can also do an animations here so if somebody who was for it you can change the the initials also place an icon within it but then it's still work in progress i have to fix that too so you can add an ad image of just adding an image there okay so So same way you can add a button to it. So we just add a button to it. So AD button to the avatar and then a button element with ADBTN. So if a if a can comment it. Like I say A D flat. So BTM blue. So 
so that is why we can talk about avatar for now it's very simple to implement it in your application and website and you can also do similar things with thumbnail so instead of an avatar you can just say thumbnail so that's avatar and that's thumbnail so ad thumbnail it's best if you're using it to display um articles or blog news blogs at the side but it only has one special thing that is called AD index but I can't really tell if it will come in handy for most of you guys out there so just dev.ad index to it so I can just add one here okay so you will wonder why um, this is needed okay well let me show you a quick example of where I use this when I was using air design so this carousel of course air design carousel you go through later so one two three four I will show that's gonna start So I'm using it to do you no know, top. You know, so that's a thumbnail, of course. And it has a button applied to it. Okay. So basically, it the index for you know showing the indexing of or ranking of list of items. Okay. So we add a D block to a thumbnail, the image shape changes to become sharp at the edges. So without a D block, it's just a bit curvy at the edges, at the vertex. Okay. And remember, you can add background color to individual items if you want. So, so BG dark, and then you can add. BG pink. Hey, just wanna say sorry for all the begging on knees for not being the girl I always So you can just play with the background so colors. I'm very sorry, but you won't have to worry. I never really had a single problem with you. That's all for now. So Quick recap.